I could kill somebody and I really I really need to pay attention. Alright, so you safely made it over the wall. Good job. Don't jump. But you didn't need any help for that. Could have broke my legs. Oh, this is creepy. It's awesome. The don't move icon is on spin. Keep the wireless controller as still as possible. Hello, little squirrel. What was with that, I wonder? What was with the squirrel? I wonder why I had to keep the remote still. Huh. Well, I got to feed a squirrel. What have you guys done today? This is so awesome. What does this say? Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believed that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies on possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Death, black butterflies prophesized the dreamer's death. Danger, red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Loss, brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Guidance, yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. And fortune, white butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. Alright. I need to remember that. Okay, so this is, okay, another totem. As you explore, you can discover totem artifacts. Picking a totem up and turning it will reveal a colored butterfly and a premonition of a possible future. Okay, possible future. So it's not set in stone. Okay, all I saw was some... Oh, can, I look, can I look at that again? Let's see. What was that? There's just a bird found near the table. The lower cable car station by Sam. Just a bird. So I saw the guy and the bird. it kind of shows us where we're supposed to go. I just saw something shining on the ground. Oh. See what's in here. Snoop. Aha. Look who it is. Oh, that would have changed the effect of the game. <laughs> he knows it. Oh. Chris. Has a crush on it. Oh, he's a sexy guy there. Ma, okay, has a crush on, As on Ashley. Protective, humorous, me methodical. You scared me. I I'm sorry. Are are you my secretary? <laughs> I was buzzing. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. You're welcome. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. I'm not going to tell you. You can see for yourself. Come on. It's this way. Where? Right around here. It's going to blow your mind. I doubt that. I want to see if there's something else over here. Hold on, Chris, wait. It is locked. Alright, I know soon we'll be back. Wait up, Chris. Yeah. Wanted. Clue found. Wanted poster. 
Victor Milgram. A torn up wanted poster about a fugitive on the mountain dated 1998. Someone didn't want people to see this. Hmm. Is that our killer? You increase your chances of survival. Okay. I definitely don't want to be a part of this. Here goes. There's death written all over it. Uh uh. Really? I just know I'm gonna shoot myself. Our squirrel friend. I'm not gonna shoot the squirrel. Uh -uh. We fed him nuts earlier. I feel like she would have hated that anyway if I had killed the squirrel. Butterfly effect update. Oh no, I'm him. So I do know that like the game is constantly saving, so we we can't just like switch what we're gonna do and go back. Everything we do is final. So I mean, I really am gonna take my time though and make sure we find these clues, so we can increase our chances for survival. Because <laughs> I want to survive this way. Nope. What if he looks at it? Does that add something? Nope. Now are we going in that room? Yes. They found people sleeping in the station. Creepy. <laughs> I do not feel safe here. Push her over. Just do it. Push. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> See what's in here. Hotel and sanatorium for healthy body and mind. Those are not two things I would put together. Trying to see if it was gonna change. Oh, oops. Guess not. Is that all that's in here? 
think so. Finally, coming? Thought I was gonna wait here. <laughs> I'm sarcastic in real life too. Enter car. Especially with a lodge that hasn't been used in so long, would you take the ski lift? I really don't think I would. Here, are we? Bro, good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened. Enjoy the trip. Uh, yeah, you're right. You know how Josh and I met? Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap tapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so. <laughs> so I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. We became friends to this day. It's an interesting way to meet. It's weird how things happen like that. How, like, if you weren't in a certain place at a certain time, how things would be different. <laughs> yes. Jess, Mike's new girlfriend. Confident, trusting, irreverent. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. <laughs> Well, she seems happy and excited. <laughs> what the hell? Jess! Hey! Jessica! Over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck <laughs> in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Ready, please? I'm not too fond of Mike, especially after it's kind of his fault <laughs> that all this happened. No offense, she sounds like a bitch. <laughs> Have plenty of time for that later. Emily, Mike's ex. Intelligent, resourceful, persuasive. How does it feel that Mike is pretty? Matt, Emily's new boyfriend. Motivated, ambitious, and active. And where's the bellboy when you. 
Alright, so I turned on subtitles because I understand that the audio in this game isn't um, the loudest in a recording, so it helps me too. <laughs> Was he there last time? <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Mike, there we go. Man of the hour. Intelligent, driven, persuasive. <laughs> you got it. Michael! You really, really should have seen your face of that, dude. I almost blocked you. <laughs> Michael, you're a jerk. Cool. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's loud today in the house. You always get like this. We're all friends here. Michael. I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. This is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on. Okay? Yeah. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't wanna make this weird. It's already weird. Good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're just uh, gonna make out. <laughs> uh, no, seriously, I'm gonna go check my favorite See you. See ya. See ya. Cool, so that was a passive experience. Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah. All the bags. Oh. Why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Em, I really don't think you should head back down the trail. Yeah, I'm, don't leave her alone. <laughs> Seriously? It's cold out and it's getting dark. You're gonna protect me from it being dark out? I'll just leave your stuff here and come with you. Nobody's gonna steal it. Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's not what I meant. Why can't you just listen to me? Why are it's you- It's she's gonna go to talk to her ex. I'm sorry, Em. I'm just trying to be helpful. If you want to be helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? Uh, okay. Fine. Whatever you want. Thank you. I'll see you up there after I go find Sam. Yeah, you're not going to find Sam. I don't think. <laughs> Especially since Matt just walked down the mountain. Or maybe... Who's this? Ashley has a crush on Chris. Academic, inquisitive, forthright. What is she watching? There's somebody down there. Oh, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. I told you. I'm not in the friend zone. I don't know why. You might need to check the expiration date on everything. Mm-hmm. Feel bad for the new boyfriend now. Uh uh. Oh! <laughs> oh. Hey, whoa. Yeah, sorry there. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to scare Just you. Just Louise, well, Matt. I didn't mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like real. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Hey, well. Man, I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay, it's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? Seem to be juice with Uh, it. Let me check it out. Mm -hmm. Nope. Um, I don't know, we could be that person that starts something, or we can just let them work it out in their own way, um, I don't know if I want to cause trouble or if I do, because, um, I don't want him to, like, go and try to fight him and end up killing himself. 
Um, let's just say it's busted for now. Yep, it's kind of busted. It's not. It's not like really interesting. It's just. What? For real? I bet I could find like a cool bear chowing down in a box or something. No, really, Matt. It's not worth straining your eyes. I'm getting kind of a headache just from looking through it. So just no. There we go. Good girl. Here we go. Kept things neutral. No drama this time. Jessica. She's still up there waiting for people. Mm. Let's not be your typical girl down nowadays. Right, let's read a book. She stop. I feel like things are gonna get tense here shortly. Oh, there's the bird. Something do, something do nothing is the right thing to do. Sometimes. Ooh. We're just not gonna do anything. the bird would have done. Grab a snowball. So I wonder what the see I have so many questions. Everything I do, I'm like, well I wonder what would have happened if I did it the other way. 